Out of the congestion pricing plan bombshell, New York Governor Kathy Hochul halting the controversial plan indefinitely yesterday, dealing a stunning blow to the program years in the making. Congestion pricing was intended to raise billions of dollars for city subways and commuter rails while reducing emissions and gridlock. Hochul cited the city's economic recovery from the pandemic, as well as the financial burden that the toll would pose on residents struggling with inflation. Puts a squeeze on the very people who make this city go. The teachers, first responders, small business workers, bodega owners. And given these financial pressures, I cannot add another burden to working and middle class New Yorkers or create another obstacle to our continued recovery. The plan was to charge drivers beginning on June 30th $15 to enter below 60th Street. Trucks would be charged up to $36, motorcycles $750, ride shares $250 a ride, and taxis $150. Now, New Yorkers are now weighing in on the governor's last second decision. And while some are relieved, others are wondering where the MTA will get the money to make needed improvements to the subway and commuter rails. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from the Upper West Side with reaction. Good morning, Christina. Cindy and Chris, good morning. Condemnation came very swiftly from transit advocates and environmentalists who called Governor Hochul's sudden about face a complete betrayal. Many of them accused her of turning her back on a plan that was decades in the making for political reasons in a critical election year, pointing out that just two weeks ago, she supported congestion pricing at a global economic summit in Ireland. While some commuters were looking forward to the prospect of cleaner air, fewer cars, and capital improvements that would have been funded by toll revenue, others argued the $15 price tag to enter the congestion pricing zone would have been financially crippling. In New Jersey, many drivers breathed a sigh of relief, saying they would have had to take mass transit, which is not always reliable. The state of New Jersey had filed a lawsuit in federal court to try and stop the plan, and officials say a decision could still come as early as this week. A lot of us commute to New York. We do a lot of business there. Uh, we've already getting hammered with all the uh, toll price raises um, over time. <laughs> Governor Hochul says funding has been set aside to backstop the MTA's capital plan, and she is exploring other funding sources to advance the improvements New Yorkers have been promised. But with these toll readers that you see behind us already in place throughout the city, many fear that congestion pricing is just being pushed temporarily down the road. For now, reporting live from the Upper West Side, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Well, the idea for congestion pricing came from the plan London has had in place for the past two decades. CBS News' Ali Bauman is in London and spoke with the president of the London Cab Drivers Club, who says it does not work there. New Yorkers tonight be feeling that the charge is postponed indefinitely. Listen, if I was in New York and I had a small business and I heard that it was being postponed, I would lock up, I'd find a bar, I'd have a cold beer, and I would sit there and I would drink that beer and I would smile because it's a great day. Because if it had come into New York, it's a downward spiral. Yeah, it's no good. Grant Davis says small businesses and people who live just outside the congestion pricing zone are impacted the most by the plan. CBS2 has requested interviews with both Governor Hochul and the head of the MTA, General Lieber. Both have declined at this point. Stay with CBS2 as our coverage continues on the congestion pricing fallout. We'll have more details on the air streaming on CBS News New York and on our website, cbsnewyork.com.